So now we'll talk about uh, <clears throat> validation and alert. Both are same, just uh, simple. What is the main difference between validation alert now? And anyone can tell me. Difference validation in... will uh, throw an error message, uh, which means that we have to act on the message to say uh, with and alert. It's it just a warning not, message. Uh, navigate to the next page, sir. And uh, uh. alert page, yeah, it shows the error message, but it, uh, it takes us to the other page. We can save the code in alert. In the validation, we cannot save the code until we clear the error message. Simple. Yes. Clear? In the validation, until we, should clear, uh, we clear the error message, it will not save the changes. It will throw the, uh, we should clear the error message. In the alert, we should not clear the error message. That is like a warning message. Still, you can save your change uh, with the, whatever the changes you have in the code. Yeah, there is a continue option. Okay. We'll give a simple example. This is a simple example. Already, example, what is the option you can take is? Hmm. Example, I'll take on. Um, hmm. In the same IT professional back bundle, whenever I'm selecting A4 paper, quantity is more than 100. I want to show error message. What is the error message? You cannot save this with the 100 quantity, more than 100 quantity. You cannot select more than 100 quantity. Actually, the same thing we can uh, uh, achieve with other option. Any anyone knows? Whenever I'm selecting product option, what is the option name, sir? A four pop. Whenever I'm selecting A four paper uh, product option in a bundle, if quantity is more than hundred, I want to share a message. I, I don't want to allow. Any other uh, possibilities uh, we can achieve this functionality? If quantity is more than hundred, I don't want to allow. Should be between the quantity, quantities one to hundred only, not more than that. What we can do normally? That A4 paper quantity should be between one and hundred. How we can achieve this functionality? Not more than hundred, not below like an example uh, one, something like below ten, whatever it may be. Deepa, madam. How we can achieve this functionality? How we can achieve this functionality? I mean quantity. Okay. Okay. We can achieve that these two fields is enable, right? If you give maximum quantity is 100, then no need to like uh, give this uh, rule also. Rule is not required. Okay. Just for demo purpose, I'm creating simple rule. That's it. It is even we can achieve with the other option. What is the alternative? How we can achieve this functionality? You can give the mean max, mean max quantity in a product option level. Correct? Yes. Okay. But just for simple example, I'm taking this example now. Okay. So tell me first step one, what you have to do here? Create a selection. Which type of rule we have to do now? Validation. Product rule. What is the condition? Whenever I'm selecting A4, right? How we can identify we have selected A4 is by using A4 product code. Product option. Product code equals to A4 paper. Whenever I'm selecting A4 paper, this is one condition. And what is the other condition? You have to write two conditions here. And if A4 paper quantity, quantity is more than 100. These are the two conditions. Then what you have to do? Rule is done, condition is done. For validation and alert, can we use action object? Can we, can we use no, sir. action no, object? No, sir. It's not required. For the validation alert, what you can do, madam? Which which one is important field? Message, Message. field. That's it. Okay. 
and the last one is important one is in which bundle you want to use this step three in case if you want to use this product rules in bundle then only you can create a configuration rule otherwise not required so now i'll go with this simple this is a simple rule okay just create this simple rule we'll discuss other things later. so first we have to prepare okay already in the what is the condition part here product code and quantity these two fields are there or not just check first of all go to the your product rule product option code is there product code field is there here no another one is what quantity field also we should want is there any quantity field here when i'm setting mm -hmm. product option no. then what you have to do we should add those two fields in this field condition object okay so how we in, uh, where we can get all those uh, api names inside relationships in which object we, we should get that api names options so right option object which two fields you want now one is a code product code okay madam okay. and other one quantity oh. no quantity field quantity field right these two fields i want to use in my rule so what we should do we should add these two fields in now in which object in which object you want to add the two fields where you want to use these two fields now hmm uh, say a uh, selection rules demo why selection this demo man not there in the error condition object right madam so here i want to use right man which object this is condition object right if i'm setting product option this yes right so in which object i have to add madam it's error condition object in the yes. error condition object in the which field i have to add now in the tested field we should add a, these two fields last time we added region right now what we are adding these two because these two is required for my condition Yes or no? Yes, sir. Once you are adding these two fields, when these two fields you want to show? When you want to show that two fields, for which object? Quote object or quote line object or conversion attribute object? When you want to show these two fields? Pro hmm? Configuration. Or option object, right, sir? When you are setting part. part this is our requirement now. We are working on a product option object. So in no. this case now. So previously our uh, object is the first one was configuration. Right. Uh, now in this case, which object we are using? Product, product option, option fields. These two fields now. Include it. Okay, it is included all those things. You can remove it now. Not required. Click ahead. So now everything is ready. Now we can just go to the simple product rules. new paper quantity should not be more than 100 okay same thing i can give uh, my error message here yeah. condition i'll go with the all two conditions should be true type validation active scope product order 20 event always this is the basic with the same second one what is second step madam what is the step you have to do now product option hmm. target field is uh, s product code equals to value how you know which you selected uh, uh, a4 paper product i will know by by using this a4 product what is the code product code mm -hmm. so 
so whenever my product option code equal to what a for paper this is one condition and what is the other condition quantity my product option which option same previous already condition is one condition is true second condition is quantity quantity uh, now equals not equal madam more than oh yeah 100 100 value is 100 so action is required for uh, validation alert rules no sir not required this is required only for selection and uh, filter rules lookup queries this is completely different table now we'll talk about configuration rule this is i want to use in which bundle it pro pack select it it professional pack click us just simple rule this is in the next example we'll give some complex uh, validation rule okay just we'll test this functionality now how you should understand what is the difference between validation and alert that's it that is our goal now okay now go to the code select your code go to your main bundle add products IP provision pack Select it. Hmm. So now what is our requirement? Which product I have to set, which option I want to set from now? These are all options, right? But which option I want, my rule will work. A4. A4 paper. Okay. Can I give more than 100? It will, uh, yes. it will say. You can give more than 100. Oh, should not be. Oh. What is the rule we have created now? Quantity should be below oh, be less than 100. If we give more than 100, our product rule is working. This is called validation. You can see this is a something called validation. Can we save this with the same quantity? 150. Still, I want 150. Can I save this one? No. 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 We should uh, if you want to save this quote, we should give the bit be, below 100. 100. Then only it will navigate to the which page? Next page. Next page. There only you can save. But still, now I will show you the difference between alert. Same rule, I will just change uh, type is equal to alert. What you can see, we'll see now. Mm -hmm. Just uh, type equal to what I have to do now. So foundation, I'll change it to the alert. Okay. Now refresh the same code. <clears throat> now just select add products. And go with the same IT provision type. Select. Choose at least one here. I'll give a 150. Click a save. It will save or not save? It will, it it will, will save, save, but it will show error message. Yeah. Warning message. Warning message. Alert. Paper quantity should not be more than 100. Still, what you can do? Two options. One is you can close it, make the corrections, and come back. I can save it. Uh, still, if you want to go with 150, you can go it. Understand now? Still, if you are coming with the same quantity, 150. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. So, this is the main difference between validation and alert. Yeah. So, validation, we should clear the error message. And alert uh, is, we have an option. Still, you can go with the same changes. Okay, that's the difference. Okay, just uh, let's 